Hey guys, my name is Mackenzie. I have a really cool Volvo to show you today. This is out of our collection. This is a 73 1800ES, the original orange. Super cool car. I love a lot of the subtle details on this. I mean, just the shape, the amount of glass. It's like a total fishbowl. Maybe I just have a soft spot for the flying brakes, but we're gonna show you around it today. This thing is soon to be available for sale. Just staring at the front of this, it has a very obvious European uh, look to it, of course. One of the first little things jumping out at me are these Marshall headlamps. Those are sweet. You see the, the little cat in there. Maybe that's Marshall himself. Cool chrome bumpers. Grill looks very good. This is plastic with a nice chrome piece up around it. The seal all in here looks great. It doesn't look like it's been pushed. It hasn't chipped any of the paint. And if you're curious what this is, stick around to the end. Uh, nice fresh air vent here as well. I like the shroud and I like the surround. Pretty unique function of that hood latch and like most European cars, this one is opening the wrong way. Have a very stout four cylinder in here. Notice that nice aluminum intake manifold it has. The full throttle body with the TPS sensor. Fuel injected. For me, this is pretty wild to see in this year. This is just how it is today. And you look at something like this we stock around here, a 70 Chevelle, this is 68. It still is not even thinking anything but carburetor, points, distributor, all that silly stuff. So pretty cool, all this tech going on. You notice we have some good features in here. They're gonna make this car just that much more fun to enjoy. Air conditioning, always nice on them hot days. We also have Four-wheel disc brakes, and not only are they four-wheel disc, which is great, they're power-assisted. Um, this thing is kind of a sweetheart to drive because of that. You're, you're never doing a leg press. Another cool thing I'm looking at, the original tag from Volvo. Presented itself very well. Everything is legible. And there's another tag here. We'll give you close-ups of all of these in our listing. You can find that full listing right in the description of this video. You just scroll down here a little ways and you can go ahead and click that. That's also where you're gonna find the price, the underbody pictures, uh, the whole write-up on it, where it's been, what we've done to it. So check that out. And I think that about wraps it up under here. Come on down with me over this Big sweeping fender here. Paint all over this car is incredibly nice. All the bright work is of that same caliber, even the finish on these wheels. Nice beauty rings as well. Good looking tires. Come down, check out the door fitment up on that front fender. It does not vary in any regard from what I can tell. And the integration of some of these components on this car are awesome. Check this out. Integrating the door handle into the trim. I mean, who does that? This is so slick. You see that trim carries, the body lines are crisp. I can't say it enough, the paint is awesome. Now check out this huge piece of glass. Really slick, still has Volvo's name on it. I'm not sure how hard it is to find something like this, but the fact that all the trim's here and in this kind of shape, I'm very impressed. Right out back, nice little locking fuel door, blended right into a, a simulated air vent there. This is one of my favorite angles of this car. In fact, this is my favorite angle of this car. The way this trim comes down, these taillights, the big weird back window. This car is just so gorgeous. Volvo badging, I love how that hasn't changed over the years at all. Chrome looks very good. The lenses on these lights, the seals around your windows, nothing to complain about. And I wanna show you the function of this hatch. Just bounce the key right on into there. Voila. Good amount of storage. You can fold down that rear seat. This is just very clean, just how it would have been. Nice and firm carpet, good in here. These have storage compartments um, on either side. This has got a spare belt in there for you. A good bit of room. You'll find the same over here. Volvo put a lot of trust into the people I'm seeing here as well. There is no trim around this glass to protect it. This is like having your dining room table flying down the freeway at 80 miles an hour. And the noise out of that rumbly four cylinder come out of this nice stainless exhaust over here exiting out of the passenger side. Gives this car a bit of flair from back here. And we find all the same stuff we liked on the driver's side in just as nice of condition. And once more, there's no noticeable blemishes to speak of on this car. It is that nice. 
Rarely do we have this much excitement up on a roof of one of these cars around here. This is quite a, a rare piece I've found Googling these things up on eBay. Very good shape. It's all been re-chromed. Even the Phillips screws are pointed in the same damn direction. Clear, good looking windshield. With a really well done dash. It's been re-wrapped in leather. Looks really good. And these wheels, one more time. They're almost like something off a of Mopar. But these are just gorgeous. Really love the color of them and the style. These door handles are so cool. Door cards in this car look awesome. This whole interior, I mean, first impressions, pretty blown away for a 73. Not bad, not bad. Um, crank windows, nice little uh, release down here. Rather neat. We have a handbrake over on this side of town, which you can't quite see. That is working good. These seats have all been redone in leather, as the steering wheel has also been wrapped in leather. The dash pad has been redone in leather. The rear seats, I mean, pretty well done interior if you ask me. And the console is still wrapped in the factory vinyl. Nice shift lever, good knob on it. And I was talking to you about that silly thing up in the grill earlier. This is how it's controlled. That is an old school radar detector. If you guessed it right in the comments, kudos for you. Some more things to talk about up in front of you in this Volvo. Not only do you have really nice looking wood grain, the gauges are styled really well too. They're concave, they have nice letters, they're bright. This one shows just 54,000 miles. The needles all look good. 6,000 RPM red line, oil pressure, fuel level, and a nice clock. And then added to the party is that Pioneer head unit with a cassette. Right downstairs, we have our AC controls and we also have an equalizer just below that and some pretty slick paddle switches over here. If a rear mist, am I understanding that right? A rear mister? Pretty cool. A fan, washer, and wipers all around it. Super cool car. Let us know down in the comments. Hit one down there. What was your favorite thing about this 1800 ES? I don't think this is a car you see every day, even at shows, not something you see often. Think of someone right now, everyone you know, who has one of these? Someone's got me, but this is pretty damn cool. Lastly, before we go, if you want to know anything more about this, we put a whole bunch more information than I can blabble on right in the description. Go down there, there'll be a link. Our website has a good write-up and of course a whole bunch of pictures. You can check out a whole bunch of other cool cars too while you're there. Thank you guys. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. We'll see you in another video. We'll be back. Bye now.